Hello everyone! This is Miss Sarah from Delta County Libraries and we are going to try a story time from home today. So I have never done this before, but we're going to give it a go and see what happens. So many of us are at home right now. I hope you are all staying well and staying safe. And I miss you all at our story times and look forward to when I can see your lovely faces again. So, I missed you so much that we just had to do a virtual story time. So, we're going to do our best today. This is all new to me and we'll see what happens. Alright, so, we do story times at the library every week. And they are geared for children from infants to preschool age. And we're going to do all kinds of activities and stories. Um, this is going to be a shortened version. We don't have enough time for a whole story time, but we're going to bring all the good parts in. So, all right, now to get started, my favorite way is to get everybody ready, and we're going to sing a little song. And if you know this, I hope you'll sing along. Here we go. Everybody take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Everybody take a seat on your chair. Not on the wall. Not on the stairs. Everybody take a seat on your chair. And if you are sitting on the floor, we have a verse for you. You can sing along to this one. Everybody take a seat, take a seat, take a seat. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Not on the wall, not on the door. Everybody take a seat on the floor. Oh good, that's one of my favorite songs. All right, so we are gonna do some bounces today. This is a lot of fun. And parents, you can bounce a little one on your lap. Uh, but for our older friends, if you don't have anyone to bounce on your lap, or if a younger brother or sister is being bounced, you can grab one of your favorite stuffed animals and bounce them on your lap. So I have Larry the Llama here and he is gonna go for a ride on my lap. So we're gonna do some horseback riding bounces today. And does anybody know, what do we say to a horse when we want them to go fast, run as fast as they can? What do we say? We say, giddy up, giddy up. Now what do we say to a horse when we want them to slow down or stop? say whoa all right can you remember that we're going to use that while we bounce all right let's get our friends ready let's get our animals ready and we're going to go for a horseback ride here we go giddy up giddy up giddy up horsey giddy up giddy up go giddy up giddy up giddy up horsey giddy up giddy up whoa let's lifted our friends our animals up on whoa all right, well now Larry the Llama here, we're gonna go for a slow horseback ride because we're gonna bounce as if a baby were riding a horse and babies have to go slow. Can you do that? Can you go slow with me? Here we go. This is the way the baby rides, the baby rides, the baby rides. This is the way the baby rides early in the morning. Very good, that was nice and slow. That was a good pace for a baby. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster because we're gonna have a farmer go for a ride. And farmers have lots of chores to do, so they need to go a little bit faster. But we're not gonna go too fast yet. All right, just ready, ready, here we go. This is the way the farmer rides, the farmer rides, the farmer rides. This is the way the farmer rides early in the morning. Ooh, very good. That was just the right speed for a farmer. Okay, I think we're ready to go fast now. So let's get our friends or our animals ready. Now a jockey is somebody that races horses as fast as they can. And we are going to bounce our puppets as fast as we can. Are you ready? Are you ready to go fast? Okay, here we go. This is the way the jockey rides, the jockey rides, the jockey rides. This is the way the jockey rides early in the morning. Oh. Whew. That was so fast. My dog Coco outside is barking at me. She says it was too fast. <laughs> okay, 
So our jockeys and our horses are tired. We're gonna let them take a little break. Let them set aside. And let's see here, Larry here. He's gonna listen to the rest of our story. All right, now we're gonna do a little action all about pea seeds. And I just planted some peas in my garden not that long ago, a couple weeks ago. And those peas, I pushed them deep underneath the soil and I watered them. And I've been watching them every day. And they just started to peek up. So I have little peas peeking up in my garden, which I'm very excited about. All right, we're gonna do a little P action rhyme. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Five plump peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and grew and would not stop until one day the pod went pop. <laughs> Very good. Those peas popped out of the pod, ready to be eaten. Yum. I love peas. Okay, so now we're going to read a story about another seed. Take me just a quick second to get situated so you and Larry can both see our story. All right. Now, once upon a time, there lived a little old man. Here's our little old man. Might be kind of hard to see, but he's wearing light blue pants and a dark blue shirt. He has one, two brown shoes. He's got a big, long white beard. And this little old man, he loved to garden. And so one day he went out to his garden and he planted a seed. It was a turnip seed. He planted that seed. He watered the seed. He weeded around it so the weeds wouldn't take over and let the turnip grow big and strong. And then one day, oh, the turnip was ready to harvest. Here we have our garden, and we see a little bit of purple poking up out of the soil, and we see green leaves coming up. So our little old man, he went over to his, his garden and his turnip, grabbed hold of the turnip, he pulled, and he pulled as hard as he could, but still, the turnip would not come out. So. He called to his wife for help. She came along. Here's, here's our little old woman. She has light purple pants on, a dark purple dress, a light purple shawl, one, two brown shoes. Now she put her hand on the little old man and she grabbed hold of him and together they pulled and they pulled but still that turnip wouldn't come up so they called to their granddaughter to come up here she comes all right and the granddaughter here she's wearing pink pants and a yellow dress with pink sleeves She's got a little pink hat on. Oh, and two brown shoes, of course. You need shoes when you're in the garden. So she got hold of her grandmother, who grabbed hold of the little old man. And together, the three of them pulled and pulled as hard as they could. But still, still the turnip wouldn't come up. So then they called to the grandson. And along he came. Here he is. He's wearing orange pants with a green shirt and an orange sleeve and of course his two brown shoes. And he grabbed hold of his sister who grabbed on to her grandmother who grabbed on to the little old man who grabbed on to the turnip and together they pulled and they pulled as hard as they could but no. Ooh, they pulled so hard that the little boy fell down. 
but still that turnip would not budge. So then they called to their little brown dog. Oh, here he is. And he grabbed on to the little boy who grabbed on to the little girl, who grabbed on to the old woman, who grabbed on to the old man, who grabbed on to the turnip, and together all of them pulled and pulled and pulled. Oh, but still, that turnip would not budge. So then they called to their little orange cat. Here she is. Oh, she grabbed on to the dog. I'm surprised because sometimes cats can be afraid of dogs, but not this cat. So she grabbed on to the little brown dog, who grabbed on to the little boy, who grabbed on to the little girl, who grabbed on to the old woman, who grabbed on to the old man, who grabbed on to that big, enormous turnip. Together they pulled and they pulled and they pulled. Ugh. No, still that turnip would not budge. So, along came a little bitty mouse. He's so little, it might be hard for you to see. Do you see our little mouse there? Here he is. He grabbed onto the tail of the orange cat, who grabbed onto the brown dog, who grabbed onto the little boy, who grabbed onto the little girl, who grabbed onto the old woman, who grabbed on to the old man, who grabbed on to the enormous giant turnip. Together, let's see how many we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them worked together and pulled and pulled and pulled and pulled. Oh my goodness, oh, it just started to budge. Look, it's just coming out. Oh. Oh, we've got a little more. Oh, we got it. Oh, together the seven of them pulled out that big enormous turnip. Look, it's bigger than all of them. It's huge. <laughs> it took all seven of them to pull out that big enormous turnip. And so they pulled it out and they took it home and cut it up and cooked it for supper. And it fed the little old man and the little old woman, and the little girl, and the little boy, and even the dog, the cat, and the mouse had enough to eat because it was quite an enormous turnip. So, what did you think of that story, Larry? I think he enjoyed it. Did you? I'm gonna put our enormous turnip story down. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever eaten a turnip, I have, I've grown them in my garden before, and I actually thought they were really good. Uh, not everybody likes them, but they grow nice and big, and uh, the turnips I grew had white on the bottom and purple, just like our turnip in this story. So, and it was really good. I cooked it, and I roasted it, and then I served it, and it was really yummy. So, uh, I hope that you enjoyed our story today and if you're at home you could look around for uh, if you have a garden you could go play in your garden and see if there's any seeds coming up if you don't have a garden at home that's okay you could use some stuffed animals to retell this story again you could perform it with some friends or family put on a puppet show for your parents and um, also, turnip, which was the yummy, delicious vegetable in our story. Turnip starts with the letter T. And you could go around your house looking for other things that start with the letter T, t, -t, -t like truck or train or tomato. So I hope you can go around and see if you can find anything that starts with the letter T your house. All right, friends, that's all we have time for today. So we are going to sing our goodbye song for story time. And I am going to sing our song with a maraca. Oh, 
little shaker. You could do this with anything at home. You could just sing it if you don't have a maraca um, or a shaker, or you could make your own shaker if you wanted to. You could take a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll and you could cover one end and fill it with beans and then cover the other. And then you could shake it and sing along. All right, are you ready? Let's sing goodbye story time. Goodbye story time. Goodbye story time. Goodbye story time. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Yay! Goodbye everyone. Stay safe, stay well, and we look forward to seeing all of your faces soon at the libraries when we reopen. And until then, I hope that you will visit our website and check out our online library. There's a lot of great resources there for, uh, for children of all ages.